The next protocol which we'll be discussing after RIP is EHRP. Now EHRP is one of the most commonly used protocol. Uh, it's also called as advanced distance vector protocol or a hybrid protocol generally Cisco call it as. Now it's no more proprietary. So it, it was a Cisco, Cisco protocol developed by Cisco. Now Cisco made this particular protocol as a standard protocol. So almost a very long back, one year before. Now you can run this protocol on Cisco as well as non-Cisco devices. Okay, but initially it was a Cisco proprietary protocol. It supports all the features of hybrid like classless, which will carry the submit mask information. And it includes all the features of IGRP because IGRP was later on modified as EHRP. That's a major difference. And maximum hop count it supports up to 255. And by default it supports up to 100. But we can change it from 100 to 255. Unlike RIP, RIP supports up to 15 hops. Okay, administer distance we have seen it's 90. 90 is the administrative distance. It's a trustworthiness of the information which we received from the router. And the good thing about the EHRP is provide a flexible network design. You can design your network in any way. Uh, that is one advantage we get when you compare with OSPF. We'll, we'll talk about more on OSPF in the next sessions. OSPF, there are some designing rules and you have to follow those designing rules. You must follow those rules, we can say. But here, there's nothing like that. So that's, that's something which will allow you to, that will make EHRP as a more a flexible protocol when you compare with OSPF. And there is no more broadcast messages. It uses multicast messages and unicast messages instead of broadcasting, uh, like unlike like RIP will do broadcast version one and IGRP also was, was doing broadcast. So uh, EHRP supports multicast and there's no loop here. So it's going to support 100% loop free classless protocol and it's very easy to configure. Now these are some of the advantages we can say or we can say the features of EHRP uh, which makes uh, EHRP as a better protocol when you compare with the previous versions of the protocols. Okay, so let's try to understand how the EHRP process is going to happen. What, what happens generally first time when you advertise the networks? What is the process happens? What kind of tables it is going to build? So whenever you advertise for the first time, let's say I got two routers, router A, router B, or it can be IP address. We can say 10.1.1.1 and 10.1.1.2. So first time, whenever we advertise the interface, let's say I'm going to advertise this interface, like, like we do using a network command, like we did in RIP. We also use some network command, network 10 or network inside the router mode. When you advertise, this router is going to send a hello message. It's going to send a hello message saying that, hello, I'm dead or one or one or one. Is there anyone on the link who is also running EHRP? And it's going to send that hello message on 224.00.0010. Uh, that is a multicast address used by EHRP routers. And all the EHRP routers listen on this particular address. Now, the other side of the interface, it is not running EHRP at this point. So it doesn't understand those message. So generally, it will not receive that message, if you can say. But once you arrive this interface also, it's going to receive the hello message and it is going to send a reply to the hello message. Again, with the hello message saying that, hello, I'm so-and-so, I'm 10.1.1.2 and, 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 and I, I got your message. Now, this is what the first step happens. So the first step, the router A sends a hello message on a multicast address and the reply comes as a unicast message. And based on this hello messages, they are going to build one table called neighbor table and they become neighbors of each other. And we can also verify the neighbor table by using show IP EHRP neighbors. I'll, I'll explain you this again more in detail. So we'll see this tables more in detail separately uh, in our next slide. So the first step, what it is going to do is they are going to send and receive the hello messages. So this is the first step, sending a hello and getting a hello reply and then forming the neighbors. Now, once they establish the neighbor relationship, now once we are neighbors, I'm your neighbor, you are my neighbor. Now the next step they need to do is they need to exchange the routing information. Now the router A is already connecting to some routers here. So router A is already connecting to routers and the router A says, hello, hello neighbor router B, you are my new neighbor. I, I have some networks on this side. I'm going to send information to you. 
So that's what it's going to say. Here is my complete routing information. It is going to send an update saying that you are my neighbor and you are my new neighbor. So I'm going to send the complete routing information for the first time. And the same thing happens on this side also. Now this router, router B, is also connecting to some networks here. It's going to propagate all this information to this neighbor again. So which means uh, what happens in the second stage is they both send an update and receive an update and then they say thanks for the information, thanks for the information, acknowledgement. So that's what happens in the next stage. So sending an update, receiving an update and then acknowledgement on both the sides. So that's based on that information it is going to build another table called topology table and topology table contains all the best truths learned from each neighbor. I'll, I'll get into this more in detail tables in my next slide again. After that, it's going to run the algorithm, the dual algorithm it's going to run and it's going to calculate the best route. A best route based on the bandwidth delay, I'll come to that calculation also more in detail in my next slide and then write down the best route in the routing table. And then it, it will do actual forwarding based on the routing table. So this is the initial process what happens. So the first they will send and receive the hello messages and they become neighbors and then they will exchange the routing information and they build the topology table and once they are sending and receiving the routing table they are going to calculate the best routes and based on that best route is going to build the routing table okay so here uh, we'll come back to these points uh, let's try to understand what are the different types of tables so the entire uh, entire things goes in a three steps sending and receiving the hello messages and then sending and receiving the updates and then finally calculating the best route okay so it's something what happens for the first time <coughs> now the next thing we need to understand about the tables now ehrp neighbor table neighbor table contains a list of directly connected routers let's say i got a router a connecting to router b connecting to router c and then connecting to router d and if I, if I use show IP EHRB neighbors, this command on the router A, I see how many neighbors? I see two neighbors. Neighbor means what are my neighbors? Because before you send and receive the updates, they will form neighbor relationship, right? Neighbor is nothing but information about the directly connected routers. Okay, so I can see the neighbor information here. So if I, if I do the same thing on the router C, I can see two neighbors, that is these two neighbors. Okay, so you don't see this router A because router A is not directly connected. So when we do some basic troubleshooting also, first step will verify the neighbor table. Because if the neighborship is up, then only you will see the routes will be exchanged between the routers. So when you, when you see the two routers are not communicating with each other, then the first thing I'll see, do they form the neighborship? And we can verify that by using show IP EHRP neighbor command. So practically we are going to verify in the lab later on but at this point of time we are just trying to understand the different types of tables which EHRP supports. And the next thing topology table. Now topology table contains a list of all the best routes learned from each neighbor. Now what exactly it is? Uh, let's take an example. I got a router A and the router A is connecting to three different routers. Router B router C and router D and there is some network called some network here some 50 dollar network here now to reach this 50 dollar network I, I can go via B I can go via C or I can go via D so I don't have a direct route to 50 so I'm going to learn about this network from either B and C and D so these are the three routers which will update me the information and these three routers are going to provide me the information here. So I'm going to learn about the, uh, this network from B or BC or D. Now, maybe this B router is having five routes information. Here I don't have five routes. Let's say this router knows how to go to, to go to B. We can go this route, we can go this route, we can go this route, this route like that. Now the router B knows about five routes, five different routes. And router C knows about three routes, let's say. And the router D knows two, two routes. So this concept is something like, uh, let's say I want to go to some destination and you are my neighbor and I got two neighbors. I got a neighbor A, neighbor B. I'm going to ask these two neighbors. 
and the neighbor is says that to reach this destination i know three routes but the neighbor will not exchange all the three routes he will exchange only the one route whichever is the best according to him and the same way i am going to ask b also b says i know two routes but i am not going to tell both the routes i will exchange only the one route which is the best so which means i am getting two routes from each neighbor now the same thing happens here also now here also even though the neighbor is having five routes information he will exchange only one route that is his best route his routing table and the neighbor exchange only one best route and this neighbor exchange only one best route so means i'm um, from each neighbor i'm getting only the best route information whatever the best routes according to them that's what the neighbors exchange only the best routes if you just get back to the previous slide uh, you can see we are exchanging only the routing tables the neighbor will exchange only the routing tables they don't exchange each and every route okay and i'm going to keep these three routes and in one table called topology table now topology table contains a collection of networks collection of best routes learned from each neighbor and this is the best route according to a this is the best route according to b according to c now this is one of the major difference between uh, the ehrp topology table and osp of database table so probably in our next concept we'll learn about osp of as well in osp of the neighbor has to exchange all the routes the neighbor has to exchange all the routes the neighbor has to exchange all the routes so this is what a slight difference in case of osp of when you compare with ehrp now ehrp only exchange the best routes that is only exchange the routing tables but whereas in case of osp of osp of will exchange all the possible routes you have to exchange each and every possible route uh, because of the osp of database that is something uh, more in detail we'll see when we come back to osp of in the later on sessions okay so this is what the best routes and out of these best routes and i am going to pick any one because i have no option i have to select any one as a best route and i am going to write that best route in my routing table that's what you will see in the routing table and when i am advertising to my neighbor i am going to exchange only the this route but i'll not exchange all the three routes now i know three routes but i'm going to exchange only one route that is my routing table route the route which is in the routing table so the same process happens between every two neighbors now understanding these tables are a little bit important to understand the basic process now we'll be getting into metric in our next video probably in this video let's finish off this some more specific features like updates are sent on 224.0.0.10 multicast routers all the ehrp routers are listened on this address and then uh, if you remember the basic process the first step they will send and receive the hello messages and in the second step they they will be sending and receiving the update and also acknowledgement packets and then finally it is going to converge and it's going to build the routing table that's the last step so after that the next update will be sent only whenever there is a change because what we have learned this it works based on incremental updates but still periodically these two routers will send and receive the hello messages hello messages are like key pillar messages just to confirm whether the neighbor is up or not and if there is no hello for 15 seconds that's a dead time generally the router says i'm not getting any response from this neighbor i waited for 15 seconds it's going to remove the neighbor from the neighbor table and it's going to look for alternate route to reach some destinations so which means within 15 seconds your second link is up uh, i can say that convergence is very fast in case of ehrp when you compare with rip or even ospf ospf takes 40 seconds and the good thing about this ehrp protocol is it supports not only of ip it supports ipx and ip talk protocols and anyway it's not a big feature because uh, because you know uh, in today's network we just use ip and it uses diffusion update algorithm for the calculation process and it supports equal as well as unequal cost load balancing uh, load balancing is something like if if the metric on both the sides if it is equal let's say the metric is 100 100 like in rip if you have both the routes having the same hops like Uh, it is going to use both the routes that's what we call as equal cost load balancing but when you say unequal cost load balancing where if the metric is not equal even though we can do load balancing between them 
that's that's one of the unique features supported uh, in EHRP, not in other protocols. Even though the metric is not equal, we can do load balancing still by using some variance concept in EHRP. Okay, 